the next topic in module 5 is fiber optic communication system okay so what is meant by fiber optic communication system the communication system that use high carrier frequency near infrared region of the visible spectrum is called optical communication system right so uh, the optical communication system in general can be called as your light wave system so the light wave system that employs the optical fiber as channel for information transmission is called the fiber optic communication system okay so this fiber optics is nothing but a cylindrical hair like transparent fibers and it can be guided and unguided okay so in this fiber optic communication system your your first topic which you are going to study is your block diagram okay so the block diagram of the fiber optic communication system mainly consists of your uh, it starts off with your information input so this will be your input side this will be your output side so information input the information can be voice video or data so the information input mainly consists of a transducer okay input transducer that converts your non electrical signal into an electrical signal example is your microphone which converts the sound into your electrical signal and or uh, the video camera which converts an image into a electrical signal the next part uh, the information electrical signal will be going on to the next part that is called as your transmitter so here the transmitter along with your opto electronic source will be constituting your transmitter side right so the transmitter is nothing but your modulator part in which the processing of this electrical signal takes place because what's the processing means it can be uh, there can be a, a voltage to current um, converter so the signal will be uh, processed in this uh, transmitter state so that it will be appropriate to get impressed onto the electromagnetic carrier generated by the opto electronic source okay so the analog uh, fiber optic is limited to shorter distance and lower bandwidths now uh, the next stage is your opto electronic source the opto electronic source uh, is mainly uh, the components which i used is your lead and your uh, injection laser diode light emitting diode or your laser diode okay so it generates a electromagnetic wave in an optical range that is near infrared which is uh, the information carrier so they are compact lightweight and consumes moderate power okay it is easy to modulate and it is less attenuated those are the feature of your opto electronic source so what will be happening in your opto electronic source the electrical uh, signal will be converted into an optical signal the next stage will be your input channel coupler so what is the uh, meaning of the coupler it is used to couple the signal from one stage to the another stage so it will couple the signal from your opto electronic source to your next stage that is your information channel or a transmission line so it can be two types if it is a unguided that is if it is an open channel transmission like radio or tv then the coupler will be an antenna if it is a guided channel the tra the transmission will be a telephone link where it couples to a uh, coupler will be a connector for attaching the transmitter to the cable okay so uh, collecting the light signal from the opto electronic source and sending it to your optical fiber cable is the function of this part okay so the next part is going to be your information channel the information channel is nothing the part path between your transmitter and the receiver okay in fiber optic systems the optical signal travels through a single fiber or a bundle of fiber okay so uh, you know that the optical fiber is nothing but a strand of a small ultra pure glass designed to transmit optical signals from your opto electronic source to your opto electronic detector so there are two regions of a fiber optic you know that one is your core and the other is a cladding so the core will have a, a solid cylindrical region of diameter 8 to 100 micrometer whereas whereas your cladding will be a uh, diameter will be 125 micrometer and you know that refractive index of the core will be very greater than that of your refractive index of the cladding so the light will travel through uh, you know the phenomena that is called as your total internal uh, reflection so these are your characteristics of your fiber optic uh, uh, channel okay so there normally there is a repeater which is uh, added so what is uh, why is the use of a repeater because all the signals which is transmitted through the channel will undergo absorption scattering attenuation etc 
So in order to uh, uh, strengthen the signal, you will be using a regenerator or a repeater or an optical amplifier. Example is your EDFA. Okay. And the next uh, sig uh, the signal will be going on to the next stage that, that is your channel output coupler. So what is the use of your uh, output coupler which couple the signal from your input side to the next stage that is your opto electron detector. Okay, OE source, the, now the opposite of the transmitter will be there in your receiver side. So, optoelectronic detector, the main uh, two, uh, two components used is either your photodiodes or phototransistor. It will convert, now what will happen here, the optical signal will be converted back to your electrical signal, the opposite of your transmitter side. Okay, the photo current will be uh, proportional to the incident, uh, incident optical uh, power and the information input. So the characteristics of your optoelectronic detector are it is small size, low power consumption, linearity, flat spectral response and um, a long uh, operating life. These are the uh, characteristics of your optoelectronic detector. The next stage is going to be your receiver. So in the case of the receiver, uh, if it is, uh, there are two cases, if it is analog and if it is uh, no, what digital. So if it is analog, the it will be a combination of a filter and an amplifier. So the output photo current is filtered to remove the DC bias, then uh, it blocks any other undesired frequency accompanying the signal. After filtering, so in the case, if it is in the case of digital, it will be a combination of filter plus amplifier so it will be a filter plus amplifier plus a decision circuit of whether it is 0 or 1 okay so the design should be made such that it should have high sensitivity and low distortion okay the finally the next uh, output uh, information the next stage will be your information output which will convert your what will be your uh, electrical signal will be converted back into your sound wave that is to the corresponding destination the original form so how is it used? It is used by means of your output transducer which can, uh, converts your electrical signal to your back to your sound wave. So these are the important blocks in your fiber optic communication system.